Hello friends, this is part 2 of solved paper of statistical mechanics C14 2023 6th semester Debrugory University. So before we solve, please do subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button. Also share with your friends, inspire me to create new contents for you and help me to grow my channel. And if you want to follow me on Insta, this is my Insta ID O J H A L A K H Y A J I T one twenty three. This is my Insta ID. Okay, you can follow me on Insta. And uh, we have already solved up to question number two. Today we're gonna solve question number three. So these are the questions. Three A one two three four. So here we need to write the sort notes of any two. So I'm gonna give you the four, all the four, right? So let me show you one by one. I'm not gonna explain the sort notes, okay? So I'm gonna explain this derivation, okay? But I'm not gonna explain these sort notes. Here you see. So this is 3A answer. This is the first piece. Take the screenshot or you can pause it and note the video. I note the notes, you take the notes. You and this is the last page of this answer first second second page is the last page this answer ends here okay so now next sort uh, next topic uh, so 3a2 so this is 3a2 this is the first page of this answer and this is the second page take the screen sort let me show you again this is the first and this is the second okay then uh, next 3a3 this is 3a3 okay take this uh, screenshot okay and this is the last piece first one and this is the last piece so let me give the, uh, give you the sort notes on the next topic that is uh, 3a4 take the screenshot of this page first phase and here is the second piece this is the second piece okay i think one more page is there so this is the oh no no this is 3b not uh this is the last piece okay of this topic this is 3a4 answer this is the first piece and this is the second piece and second piece is the last piece okay so now uh, this is 3b answer let me go back to the question okay first here you see here is the question of 3b okay. uh, so we need to write the statements of this religion slow so here we have two marks for this and derivative from the Planck's radiation law so we need to derive it from the Planck's radiation law for this three we have three marks here so now let me show you so here is the religion law of energy distribution okay so we're gonna derive this using uh, uh, from the Planck's uh, you know uh, radiation law so let me show you how to derive this so this is the Planck's radiation law and here you see the religion's uh, law is valid for only low frequencies okay if the frequency is very small in that case this quantity here you can see the index on this e is that's gonna be very very less than one okay if that is less than one then we can say that e is uh, new by kt is equal to approximately plus one by h new by kt if this is very very less than one then we can write this result one plus something because e to the power zero is one we know that and zero plus a very small number this one is this okay and uh, in that case you know uh, we can write this one plus very small number right so this is very very less than one this uh, this part okay so that's why if e to the power zero is equal to one then uh, we can write e to the power uh, that r which is very very less than one in that case one plus r right so hope you have got it so now you see if we use this here if we replace this result by this one uh, 
then this equation one becomes this so here i have already mentioned here uh, this term can be written this uh, instead of c by lambda we can write h nu and that will be uh, uh, you know more useful because we are dealing with frequency now as the explanation i have given here in terms of frequency so let me write this way okay so now you see this is the equation one from this equation one we have put this result and from here minus one plus one cancels then here this c by nu is again replaced by lambda okay then what we have got this a c is gone right and c by nu is replaced by lambda a c is cancel lambda cancels lambda by lambda to the power five which gives, which gives lambda to the power four so this is the religion law okay that's how we can derive it from Planck's radiation law so hope you have understood this now let's move on to the next question so here you see this is 3c draw the black body spectrum at different temperatures let me show you so here is the answer to 3c okay just take the screenshot you can uh, draw it from here okay and the next question 3c or we have a numeric a body at 1500 kelvin emits maximum energy of wavelength 2000 nm nanometer if the wavelength if the sun emits maximum energy of wavelength 550 nanometer then what would be the temperature of the sun so here we're going to use the wind's displacement law so that is uh, lambda t is equal to constant we're going to use that so first let me mention the given things here we have taken the uh, body of uh, 1500 kelvin as t1 temperature and its corresponding wavelength of the radiation is 2000 nanometer that is given and uh, you know temperature of the sun is taken as uh, uh, sorry the radiation emitted from the sun its wavelength is taken as uh, lambda 2 here i have taken lambda 2 okay and we need uh, a temperature of the sun is taken as t2 okay so when the displacement loss is lambda into t is equal to constant here that uh, uh, you know this lambda is actually you know wavelength of maximum energy wavelength so you can write lambda m so if this is constant then we can say that lambda 1 t1 it must be equal to lambda 2 t2 so which implies t2 is equal to lambda 1 let t1 by lambda 2 let's put the value to get the value of lambda uh, t2 sorry not lambda 2 t2 so t1 is 2000 so here this one is nanometer this one is also nanometer so we don't need to convert here because both on both side if we get nanometer 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 will be cancelled okay t1 is 1500 kelvin and uh, lam lambda 2 is 550 nanometer so nanometer nanometer gone we have only kelvin so now cancel 0 0 gone uh, 11 uh, 5 11 the 55 and 5 3 the 15 so here we're gonna get 30 sorry here okay then right then what we're gonna have if we multiply these two then that's gonna be equal to uh, 60,000 divided by 11 Kelvin if we divide it by 11 then we're gonna get 5 5 5 and 5.55 5, 5, 5 so on so let me write here 6 Kelvin approximately this is the temperature of the sun right from this given data okay that we have got the temperature is this okay so remaining questions will be solved in the next video thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye